We all run into tech problems, probably on a fairly regular basis. I know I do. But when you're in the hospital, the last thing you want to worry about is how to connect to Wi-Fi, maybe try and figure out the TV. So that's why Children's Minnesota has the Geek Squad. It's the same one you find in Best Buy, but they have five full-time employees dedicated to the hospital. In Accomplished with Kylie, I learned just how impactful those five geeks can be. I was one of the guys that was in people's homes. Elliot Nelson spent years doing home visits for Best Buy's Geek Squad. Big TVs on the walls and speakers in the ceilings. After a few years hooking up home theaters, he found hospital rooms were his calling. This place fulfills for me personally what I've been trying to do with my skills my entire career. He still works for Geek Squad, but this office is inside Children's Minnesota. Same company, same division, um, literally the same training and skill sets. The Geek Squad handles everything technical. All of the TVs, all of the Xboxes, the entire Wi-Fi system throughout the hospital. They also have two dozen laptops, 90 iPads, and 500 DVDs. They'll help clear phone's memory and print pictures to hang on the walls. It's all free and available for patients and families. But maybe the most important... Last thing on your mind is that cord. Phone chargers. I know when we came in on the ambulance, we didn't have a charger. Something Tara had to borrow just a few weeks ago. Her 16-year-old son, Riley, had a brain bleed and was rushed to Children's. I didn't have half the things that I needed because I just grabbed a coat and um, my son's shoes. Riley's been in and out of the hospital for nine years battling brain cancer. There was no Geek Squad back then. Tara says nurses used to help with tech issues, but the Geek Squad made all the difference. I believe that our existence is about helping other people, about reaching out and giving what you have. Which is exactly what Elliot and his squad do every day. It was amazing just knowing that they were here. They really are incredible. All the products the Geek Squad offers are donated to the hospital, and Best Buy pays for the cost of labor. It was the first Geek Squad in a hospital in the country, and now there are two others. But I, the things that these guys do, it's everything. They will help you Skype with Africa if you have family there. They'll Skype into church mm -hmm. on Sundays. They'll stream high school football games if kids are missing out on recitals, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. They will be there to help you. I mean, the thing about being in the hospital is when you're a kid, like, it's boring. Like no. when you're not running off the test, there's just a lot mm. of downtime when you're just sitting there. So to be able to have something to distract them, yeah. that's fantastic. And this takes some of the burden off of the nurses who often are maybe the first line of response for people having tech problems. And that's exactly what Tara was saying. They, they used The nurses used to try and she's like, you know, they gave such a great job, but they're so good at what they do. Yeah. That it's, it's hard to be able to yeah. Let's, switch And she's like, to have them focus on that cool. is a really important thing. Very smart so, idea. Yeah.